Hi guys, I just want to show you how to check your boost control valve. This is a stock unit from a Galant. It's 100% similar on a DSM. It's pretty dark in this garage, so I hope you can see. Well, the thing to check here is, you can see a straight pipe here and a pipe with a small hump on it. This is the high pressure side. If you feel this pressure side with high pressure, it's going to bleed at roughly about 20 psi, and it won't stop bleeding since the passage is open. It's like a ball and spring type manual bolts controller, if you will. If you open it, it will bleed until you fall below the, that pressure. So feel this line with pressure. And uh, what we got here is a mighty vac that goes to 30 psi. We're going to hook that up with this tube. So I'm going to hook that up right now. Yep, it's hooked up to this T fitting to keep the pressure in since it's two different sizes on the tube. And this goes to 30 psi as I said before. So we're going to apply maximum, see if it leaks. You can hear a small hiss but it's from this uh, T-fitting that is leaking. The gauge is pegged well over 30 psi so the valve is probably good. But we need to check that uh, properly. So I will just put the camera over here so I can record the hiss it makes. I could hear the hiss clearly into the car. And I will show you that the gauge is back to zero. So that's how you check your boost control valve with a mighty vac and a logger. I use TMO logging software. So now I will hook this solenoid up and run it with uh, Sweet Density through 3D maps in conjunction with my manual boost controller over there. So the manual boost controller is a ball spring type that keeps around 25 psi of pressure but when it's open up the flow is free to go anywhere so it fits 25 psi all the way to the down to the wastegate which is 9 or 11 psi it's a evo 3 standard one so it bleeds bleeds out very quickly so i want to prevent that by running this solenoid in a 3d map which i can control rpm and pressure on Okay, so I thought I would show you what I use to, what was software I use when I activated the solenoid. You can use whatever you wish, but I think uh, Technomotive, the data logger TMO made back in the day, works just fine. So you connect to your ECU and uh, choose DRB actuators, and then you click your boost on like that as I am in the car and there is no pressure I can just hear the relay slightly click so that's how it's done with TMO see you